Hello students and parents. We're going to talk about backpacks and what goes in them. A good backpack is very important. It needs to, it may have rollers. It needs to not be so large though, like a suitcase or anything because we need to fit all of them. It needs a good, a place to store a good water bottle that you'll be using throughout the day since the water fountains will not be available. Uh, check, get a water bottle that will not leak even when you hold it upside down and will not break easily. Make sure it's one that your child can open and close on their own. You will also need three by five cards for study helps in phonics and you'll need an index card holder. Now the three by five cards come in uh, packs of 100. I would get two of those packs, one for the first semester, and then I will give them the, the second pack later. The pack, I don't have the, the box to hold it. This is a crayon box right now. I do not have one right now, but it kind of is about that wide and a little bit longer. It's a plastic box and it will hold uh, 100, maybe 200, but please don't get a huge box because it is going to be being kept in their backpack. Another thing that will be kept in a pocket of their backpack are addition and subtraction flashcards. You can get these at the Dollar Tree usually or uh, order them on Walmart. I would, again, I would not get a huge box, uh, just get, and sometimes the ones uh, at Dollar Tree uh, may only go up to the 12 family, and we are going all the way up to the 18 family. So your child could make the rest. Uh, that would be better than nothing to get us started. But look for the ones that go to the 18 family. Uh, it does not, they do not have to have repetitive cards like uh, 1 plus 7 and 7 plus 1. As long as they have one or the other, uh, that's fine. And you will need multiplication division flashcards for second semester, but go ahead and get them now since this will probably be the easiest time of the year to find them. So the reason why those flashcards and index cards are going to be kept in the backpack is they will be used for study. So they'll be taken home and not kept in the desk. We'll make them at school, so they're going to go back and forth between school and home. And you will also be keeping your PE uniform with your backpack. Uh, there may not be room in the backpack all the time. It's nice to have a separate drawstring bag that's just small to keep the clothes in. You're going to want their name on the bag. Of course, you're going to want their name on the box and the box of flashcards also. Uh, but you're going to want their name on the PE bag and on their PE uniform and also on their regular school uniform. So when they take it off and put it in the bag, because uh, sometimes they forget to put it in the bag and a shirt gets laying around, so it goes lost and found with no name on it. Somebody else thinks it's theirs, and whoop, there goes the shirt. So be sure you've got their name on all uniform items, even a belt. And, oh, how many times? Whose belt is this? Whose belt is this? And the boys forget what it looks like. Oh, I don't, that's not my belt, but it really was. So it goes to Lost and Found again. Poof, the belt's gone. And <laughs> uh, we, we will uh, have fun finding uh, <laughs> what belongs to who when it doesn't have their name. Jacket, they will need a jacket. It, it, we do uh, keep the, the air conditioner on cool enough to be able to cool my room and the room next door and sometimes her room is not at the exact same temperature so we have to make my room a little bit cooler to make up for that so they do need a sweater or a jacket be sure that that their name is inside of that they all look alike and that's it for the backpack i think um if you have questions uh, be sure to give me an, uh, a, just my name, Debbie Frazier at fbclol.org. Uh, I'm going to make another video for their other supplies and then another one for their lunchbox because I want to keep these just short and sweet. So that's the one about the backpack.